Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you Veed's Instagram video editor. So basically, we're going to be creating a bunch of Instagram video content, and I'm just gonna be displaying the features and the tools that Veed has to help you create the best Instagram content possible. Now, to get started, we're gonna head over to Veed. So we're just gonna to go to Google and type in Veed, V-E-E-D, and then click on the first link, which is create, edit, and share videos online. If you don't already have an account, Veed is gonna prompt you to create one for free. And if you already have an account, you should be taken straight to this page. So this is basically your project page here you have all of the video projects you've created and then you have folders that you can sort them into and to create a new project very simple we just click on new project in the top left corner so this is where I'm going to be creating a brand new Instagram post now the first thing you have to do is upload video or audio you can upload only audio and then add some elements on top of that or we can just upload a video and to upload and to upload a video we can do it directly from our device or a tool that I love is either from YouTube or we can do it from Dropbox 2 which is a great way to import your video but I'm just going to go ahead and click on the upload video button and choose a video from my computer once I've selected the video that I want to upload I just click on open in the bottom right of that window and then Veed is going to import the video for our Instagram video that we're gonna make. So if we have a look in the top right, we have the progress of the video upload, and there's a few elements we can already start editing before it's even finished uploading. First of all, I'm just gonna play it back a couple of times so we get an idea of how I'm gonna edit my Instagram video. All right, okay, so this is a test video, and let's just say, so obviously, like I said in the video, this is a test video. I'm not actually gonna be turning it into an Instagram post, but I'm gonna be showing you exactly how I would go about if I was turning it into an Instagram post. So first of all, if we notice at the beginning, all right. So up until about here, the playhead, I want to trim this video off. So all I'm gonna do is just select the video. Okay, I have the playhead about here, and then I'm literally just going to click and drag and trim off the beginning. And then I need to remember to take the clip and drag it back to the beginning of the timeline so it still starts at zero. So now if I play it. Okay, so this is a test video and- All right, first of all, it's already better. So now the next thing, due to the fact that it is an Instagram post, obviously we're gonna be changing the dimensions. Now for Instagram, most of the posts on there are square, but we can also upload them as landscape or as a portrait. And obviously if you're creating an IGTV video, you can post it up with the story format right here. And now you may be thinking, yeah, but that just makes your video small and the magic of Veed is you can quickly just place your video and literally just click and drag it. So now if I was making this a story, I have my video with the story or IGTV format. Test video and let's just say this is a podcast. But I don't want an IGTV video, so I'm gonna go head back and make ours a portrait video. So now if again, I just resize it a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna leave a bit of space at the top so we have a headline. So the next thing I'm gonna do is add a bit of text. So if I just click on the text, add new text, and then I'm gonna type out my text here. And here, this is where you wanna type something catchy. I'm just gonna write Instagram video editor, right? So I've now got this, and if I click on it, I can click and drag and easily resize it. Obviously, I'm gonna to need to change the color, so I can change the color to any color I want. Um, I'm gonna make mine white. And for the project color, I want to change it to green. So now I have a green background, kind of so it matches the video. And then what I'm gonna do is just change the styling of this a little bit. And we're gonna change this to, there we go. I think this looks a little bit better. So now again, I'm gonna resize it. So now I have this title at the top of my video. So it kind of entices people to watch the video. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is actually remove a little bit off the bottom of the video. And basically what I'm gonna place here is actually some subtitles. So if I just click on the subtitles tab, Veed has an amazing tool which allows you to automatically subtitle your videos. So now, if I just auto subtitle, select the language that I'm talking in, I'm talking in English, so I'm just going to click on start. Once I click on start, Veed is then gonna automatically transcribe all of the audio from my video into text and turn that text into subtitles and place it at the correct time throughout the video with the correct time codes. So now if we take a look, all of my subtitles have finished. So if I play it through now. Okay, so this is a test video and let's just say this is a podcast and I'm trying to add Okay, so this is perfect. Now the first thing you'll notice is that the beginning, I cut off the all right, so what I can do is just edit it in real time and pretty much just, there you go. So now I've just got the okay. Okay, so this is a test video. And all the changes you make, I do wanna mention, they will appear on real time on the screen. So if I just click right here, all the changes I make are appearing on screen in real time. So you can see all the edits you do, which is awesome. If you wanna change the duration of your Subtitles, you can, let's say if I just want the OK to end right here, once my playhead's here, I just have to click on this little stopwatch right here and then it will change it. 
And if I want to make it go back to there, I just click on the stopwatch again, and there you go. Now, I need to style my subtitles. So for my Instagram post, I want my subtitles to be at the bottom, but I need to remove this black background. So I'm gonna go into the Style tab in the Subtitle Editor, and I'm going to choose this preset right here, which I love because it's white subtitles with a black drop shadow, and I think it looks very good. So now if I play it from the beginning. Okay, so this is a test video, and let's just say this is a podcast. And I okay, so I'm really liking the look of this Instagram post, and now the last thing I'm going to be doing is adding a progress bar. And basically a progress bar is basically just a bar that gradually moves along with the time of the video. So if your video lasts 60 seconds, the progress bar is gonna last 60 seconds. So if I play it through right now. Okay, so this is a test video and let's just say this is a pod. As we can see, the progress bar is moving all the way through. Now, if I click through the timeline, my video ends here but the progress bar is still going because the timeline actually ends here. So what I can do is just drag these down back here as well. So now this means that everything should end at the same time. So if I click play. Uh, okay, so this is a test video. It looks a lot nicer. So I want to also cut a bit off the end. So I'm just going to drag off the end again, bring my tools back right here. And then now if I click play on the end, it looks a lot nicer. Okay, so now the last thing I'm gonna do is quickly style my progress bar. So obviously I wanna change the front color. I'm gonna make the front color, um, I'm gonna make the front color white and then the back color, I'm gonna make it some type of green or maybe I'll do the back color is green and then the front color is green. Uh, the back color is white and then the front color is green. So now- Okay, so this is a test video and let's just say this is a podcast and I'm trying to add an audio waveform. And there is an Instagram video. Now, if I wanted to quickly, let's say, turn this into a square, I just click on square and then it kind of resizes everything for me. I still have all my elements and I just quickly have to readjust them again. So if I move this down a bit, move my title down, I wanna put the progress bar back up here. Now I can move my subtitles up a bit more and if I just play it. Okay, so this is a test video and let and that is how I quickly resize it. And then once I'm happy with my Instagram video, all I have to do is just hit the download button like this and then my video is gonna start rendering. And once it's finished rendering, I can quickly download it, I can share it to social media and that is how it's done. That's an Instagram video editor called Veed. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button. And that being said, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.